hot to go as well. It starts with K. And uh, I'm head there. Absolute top bag. Unfortunately, nothing in it. Wouldn't that be an amazing treasure find? First inside, neat condition. No one's to claim it. Yeah, never happened. to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be taking a look at the New Balance RC 1300. This time we are going to be looking at it in the elephant colorway. Be sure to check out the other two colors if you haven't already but for now let's take a quick sneak peek of this color. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below. Be sure to hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check in and hit that join button. We've got some amazing membership perks on there with some amazing tiers. So be sure to head there after this video as well as check out our merch store. We've got some great shade pieces in there that you won't want to miss out on. All right. So today's video is brought to you by Shinola. All right, so as far as the episode goes, we are gonna start out with the overview of the shoe, then we're gonna talk about size and fit, followed by styling, and then we are going to conclude with the resale on how these shoes are doing. All right, so let's go over the overview for the elephant colorway. 
Again, this is the New Balance RC1300. This is a more modern version from the New Balance 1300 that we've seen in the past. They've gave it this nice kind of rugged look that is very modern, but I love it. This colorway was, I believe, one of the more popular of the three colors just because New Balance is known for their grays. This time they've called their gray the elephant colorway. As you see, again, more of that just luxurious, robust suede on the front of that toe box in this beautiful gray hue. We've got some silver tones for the mesh as we work our way up. We've got cream laces and that same tongue that we've seen on the other two colorways in that cream. And this again is just high quality leather that they used on the tongue. We've got again some beige color scheme for the New Balance and Kith Dual logo on top of this white color scheme. So let's just take a quick look at those details up close. not feeling the cream laces again they also offer two different laces this time in a beige color and a darker gray color scheme so it's again nice that they gave you a double colorway option on top of the cream laces all right so let's work our way around the side panels of the shoe we've got the monogram once again which is my favorite 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 part of the shoe and that cream color scheme on top of the white leather then underneath that we've got more underlays of that just iconic gray suede that wraps all the way around to the collar where you'll see the fig and kith it's nice detail on the back. Wrapping around to the other side of the shoe, we've got again that large sized N with the monogram of the Kith logo. Again, with underlays of that beautiful gray suede and underlays of that just white leather that helps that cream just pop off of the elephant color scheme. Working our way to the insole, we have a gray and white insole with the dual logo for New Balance and Kith in RC1300. We've got that split midsole on the bottom with the end cap cushion sole and the midsole is in a white hue and the bottom is finished off in just a nice subtle beige tone so let's take a last and final look at those details Typically, I am a men's seven and a half. I did stay true to size with this one. I did find that this silhouette was a little on the larger size. So if I were to go back and order this, I think I could have squeezed into a seven just fine and still would have had a little bit of room left over. There is a little bit of extra space with these, but luckily I do like to wear thicker socks. So it did kind of fill up the silhouette. I would recommend going half 
half a size down on these just because I do think they run a little bit on the larger size, but it is not a major issue for me that I did stick true to size on this. Again, I do have high arch, narrow feet. So if you have wider feet that are flat, this may actually decipher a different size that works better for you. Specifically, if you do like to have a little extra room in that toe box region, whereas I like to have a little bit of extra room, that could also change what size works best for you. But on this one, I would recommend going half a size down. All right, now let's move on to styling. All right, so for the first look, I decided to wear a Kith Calvin Klein collab with a sports bra, the one I'm wearing now in this beautiful beige colorway, which I think just goes great, which is all over natural colors. And I pair that with some simple white lightweight pants, which obviously it's hot in the summertime out here in New York. So it's nice to have some lightweight pants and the white is just such a crisp color. Again, I think it goes amazing with any neutrals that you may want to pair for the summertime. And the beige and white just all together went great together. look I decided to wear a little bit of a dressier fit this time another kith piece uh, this is from the kith mainline and it's a bodycon kind of ribbed dress that goes past the knees in this grayish blue tone I think that that color again is just an amazing color scheme that goes great with any type of neutral color and it's just a great kind of accented color for the summertime as well that you can also wear year-round. and final look I decided to wear a little bit of a different patterned kind of look again another sports bra from the Kith Calvin Klein line this time in a more colorful I guess you could say vibrant color scheme which is more of a berry palette and I paired that with a seersucker striped shirt and that's just one of the perfect shirts to wear during the summertime just because it's so humid and hot here in New York. So definitely very breathable, but just a great kind of pattern for the summertime. And I paired that with some simple denim pants, or not denim pants, denim shorts. Can't be wearing pants today, which is way too hot for that. Uh, but those shorts were in a light denim with some just kind of ripped details on there. And I also wore just a nice, simple brown leather belt. So that's it for those three looks. Let me know down below what was your favorite out of the three. Looking for the exit rise, speed past the cars on the left hand side. Better be ready when I step inside, cause it's going down like a slip and slide, slip and slide. Grown folks talk, make the jits be quiet. When you love drunk, we just tipsy, right? You the only one.
that can get me right, cause you get me right, right, right. these shoes are doing on the resale market currently. So each colorway retailed for $165. We will start with the antler colorway here. This is going between $195 on the lower end to $300 on the higher end. Next up, we've got the elephant. Again, this retailed for $165 and it's going between $210 on the lower end to $340. And last but not least, we've got the pepper colorway. Again, retailed at $165 and is going between between 225 on the lower end to 400. So out of the three colors, actually, this one seems to be doing pretty well, this one as well, and this one is not as well, but I'm obsessed with this one, so not sure, but it makes sense, I guess, that the gray is doing very well since this is the classic OG New Balance color that they are known for. All right, so that is it for this episode. Thanks everyone for tuning in. If you're new to the channel today, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button. We've got some amazing membership perks on there as well as an amazing merch store. And thanks again, Shinola, for sending me these amazing pieces. I can't wait to continuously add these accessories to my style in the future. Again, check the links down below if you're interested in any of Chanel's products. They are absolutely the highest quality products you are going to find out there specifically for this amazing run while watch as well as sunglasses. I mean, who doesn't need an amazing pair of sunglasses for the summer? All right, that's it for this episode again. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We will catch you on the next one.